الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله فقال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس إن وعد الله حق فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسيعود غريبا كما بدأ فطوبى للغرباء My dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته the loose translation of the hadith that I just mentioned that Rasulullah said is Islam began as something strange, as something not normal. And it will return as something strange just like it began. Very beautiful hadith at the ending. Rasulullah says, Fatuba al Ghuraba, blessed are the strangers. Glad tidings or blessings to the strangers. Give them good news. They're in a good situation. So I just wanted to use this Jummah quickly to remind ourselves that the society and the environment that we immerse ourselves in is an influential factor that we cannot ignore. And if we pretend that it doesn't influence us living here, it would be foolish of us. So we need time again and again to remind ourselves uh, of the reality of being Muslim, of what it means to be Muslim. And subhanAllah, if you read the Qur'an and Rasulullah's life, a lot of it was repetition, just repetition. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly repeats himself in the Qur'an. And the very word insan also comes from the word to forget. So without being in a very troubling situ uh, environment or situation, we're already susceptible to forget. And on top of that, we're in an environment that we're constantly bombarded by kufr and shirk every day, uh, whether it's direct or indirect, uh, and it's, it's very overwhelming and it's influencing us, whether we like it or not. Unfortunately, some more than others. I mean, there's a lot of Muslims these days, and you'll hear all sorts of ludicrous ideas that have nothing